guys, hello from Colombo, Sri Lanka and today I'm gonna take you to one of the best, one of the newest, one of the most modern malls in Colombo it's in a Galface district and it's very impressive outside and inside so let's go, I'll take you to my mall exploration in Colombo now we are near the main entrance and interesting fact about malls in Colombo security is working very hard and very good and I think it's a good sign because security is on every entrance and they check your bags and your pockets and you itself if you are not a <laughs> terrorist there are some nice cafes outside nice greenery overall mall is looking fresh and new so let's see what's going on inside so I successfully passed the security and we are looking on a one face gull mall now and as I said looks very new very modern and I already know that there are not big chains in Sri Lanka like Zara, Bershka, all this bullshit and honestly I don't like it so not a big deal for me but for some people it can be I really like the fact that they're producing local stuff, local shops and this is the entrance this is the entrance, uh, some golden people behind me and some roses, okay, some roses, maybe it's still like Valentine's Day vibe here, I, I'm not sure, I, I didn't feel it. So they have some of the chains, they have Armani exchange, <laughs> they have Swarovski, they have Furla and I, I think that's it <laughs> and Rolex also Whew. I really like going to the malls because you can to pull down if you walk like a motherfucker like me under the sun it's a very nice <laughs> trick so Danny told me that somewhere here there are a very nice terrace so I'm gonna find it and here you can see how beautiful it is inside actually yeah I saw a bunch of malls in Kuala Lumpur in Bangkok and I can't tell that this mall is something very different is worse or better is like the same quality and for Columba I think it's really impressive entering the second floor and of course of course on every corner in Columba and in every mall there is spa Ceylon uh, in Ukraine we say spa Ceylon but uh, somebody told me that Chelon is a correct name and it's like um, I don't know local chain but it's popular all over the world even I have some creams from Spa Chelon and the quality is very nice very good I have to tell you the best uh, coconut cream in my life I bought in a Spa Chelon and as I said, a local shops, local fashion, yeah, very different from European and very different from Ukrainian as well. But yeah, we are going up. I really want to see the terrace because I have a feeling that the view will be very impressive. This is the hallways, it's very light and bright and 
really stylish, I would say. Sri Lanka has a taste. <laughs> down a little bit later to the food court and I will show you that all big chains like Burger King, Subway is crazy expensive much more expensive than local food court or local food oh I like this floor they have a bookshop I'm always curious about the bookshops Somebody is talking with us. Ooh. Is it handmade? Yes, handmade. handmade. So all are natural things. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I one more fact that I like about Sri Lanka is that a lot of handmade stuff you can find that you can never find somewhere else. something like mini saw but <laughs> definitely not a mini saw and from here you can see that they even have a cinema we are going to the top floor and I can't see any terrace and any cafe but I'm sure they have it I'm sure let's figure it out they have some coffee shops and I really like when the malls have such stands which is not common in Ukraine and in Europe at all and I can see some cafes and yeah they have a terrace let's go I'll show you coconut toffee wait 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 coconut toffee yeah I tried it only in Sri Lanka a year ago and I was shocked how tasty it is and I was a vegan this time so I got all my calories from this coconut toffee it's one of my favorite things here and a lot of different interesting things you can find here to eat or to meditate with and yeah a big dialogue here you can find a sim card yeah and the disadvantage of this land Chelon land is that Wi-Fi is uh, very poor here yeah, it's a little bit disappointment, a, a little disappointment that you can barely upload something or download. It always takes hours, feels like years. Uh, but you can buy yourself a SIM card and not struggle with such problems. Yeah, a very nice cafe with the nice terrace. Maybe I should go one level up more? I don't know. Probably. Yeah, I finally found it. But unfortunately it has no view. Not as I expected. But still a very nice open, open place to walk yeah it's unfortunately closed area now maybe they're repairing it but from from here you can enter the cafe and there are some some seats with a view but not for a brokey like me I forgot my cash and I also wanna show you the food court so to save my time i will go directly down oh yeah oh yeah this is the view 
this is the place. So entering the food court. I like that there is like a mix of different Asian cuisine. Here you can find the Japanese food, here you can find Thai food, um, some pizza, Italian, interesting, <laughs> uh, Singaporean, a big line for the Singaporean. It's a little bit overpriced food court, but it's like a fancy area, so no wonder why. Uh, some biryani, a lot of biryani, uh, of course Sri Lankan national food and even Pakistani cuisine, which I personally like the most. And we are going to my favorite part is the supermarket kills. Uh, they are all over Sri Lanka, even near the beaches and also there are a Subway and Burger King and Pizza Hut, some uh, famous chains but again they are very expensive in this part of the world I don't know why <laughs> for me real food like real Sri Lankan food is much better than uh, sandwich from Subway but uh, still still I can understand that for locals it may be something interesting yeah very big food court not a lot of people here so you can chili easy find yourself some snack in the middle of the day and again in mall you can always cool down so it's a big advantage oh yeah some nice pastries I'm so hungry so oh that's what I was talking about like the pastry with a uh, shrimps on top I definitely want to try it once but I want to try it like on a street like a properly real thing so I think I will buy myself a drink here in a kill. They sell like fresh fruits, they sell like oh even fresh drinks today. Interesting. Oh that's nice. Avocado juice, lime juice, papaya juice. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think I will take one of this. I hope there is no sugar here. But, uh, okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll give it a chance. Or maybe lime will be better. I don't know. It's hard. Avocado looks just amazing, but too many calories. So, yeah. Oh, and one more local drink that I like is a ginger beer it's very tasty and in some place they are sugar free so maybe I will take this one so I decided to take some lime juice mm. Mm. it's actually really good I I thought it would be sour, but it's actually really sweet and light. Yeah, I love it. Kills, I love it. I'm going out. So, what can I say? A review. For me, it's a very decent mall. And it's not uh, worse than Kuala Lumpur, nothing worse than Bangkok and in some ways even better in some ways needs a little bit more development but still Colombo it's impressive so yeah don't forget to follow me to see more 
exploration of the world, exploration of the country and don't forget to follow me on Instagram also. It was Lisa Chaika. <laughs> yeah.